Hi guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and in this video I'm gonna show you 5 really cool tricks that can make your life easy with hard ups and box cutter. We're gonna be using the latest versions of both add-ons and these changes and updates appeared within the past 3 months, relatively new. Some of you might not be aware of them. Uh, so I'm using a uh, box cutter 71910 and in terms of hard ups I'm using Francium 8729. Now hard ups and box cutter add-ons are essential for hard surface modeling and together with Josh we've been using them for ages. We actually used them in our most recent course, the uh, Blender Bros Hard Surface Game Asset 2.0. It's a really cool course and includes some fantastic techniques for creating game assets and also comes with amazing bonuses which are still available so go to our stores and check it out. The links are in the video description. The same goes to hard ups and box cutter add-ons. Links are in the video description, so if you don't have them, I grab them because they're fantastic. If I'm going to draw an end gun here from the side like this, um, so let's just draw an end gun here, 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 and here. And I'm going to press B for bevel, and I'm going to bevel this and click or press tab to pause it. And now you know what you can do is, you know, you can manipulate and all that. Uh, with your middle mouse button but you can do also is you can click on one of these points and move it right but that's an you know kind of an old thing we've been there for a while but the new thing is that you can now middle mouse click on each of these points and actually adjust the bevel because these bevels are run uh, on weight on b weight which means you're adjusting a bevel weight basically on them right and you can adjust each of these points individually and if you, you know, create like a really large bevel and you want to adjust another point, they will actually adjust accordingly, all of them, which is pretty bloody cool to avoid clamping. And if I'm going to shift click this to live and go to uh, edit mode, go to local view, I can still adjust this cutter because, you know, like I said, these edges here, they're bevel weighted. You can see they have different color. Uh, so I can go to Q and Alt click on Mark and I can still adjust them and they're going to behave the same way. So if I'm going to create this one kind of like a bigger one and try to adjust this one, uh, they will start adjusting accordingly as well. It's pretty cool. So it's a really nice uh, touch from uh, Team C. I love it. I work a lot with end guns, so this is a really nice change. Second thing with end guns I want to show you is mirroring, which is pretty cool. Now, I'm not sure if all of you know that, but when you draw a cutter on a mesh, that's an old box cutter behavior. You can press 1, 2, and 3 for active mirrors on, a, on, on X, Y, and Z. But what you can do now is you can do the same thing with end guns. So let's go to front view. And let's just draw an end on like this, all right? And I'm gonna draw it in here like that. And then what I'm gonna do is press one and shift one to flip it. So it mirrors and flips it, which is pretty bloody cool. And then of course you can, you know, press tab and you can start adjusting all these things, create a bevel. Really cool stuff, you know, uh, amazing stuff that you can do now with, uh, with end on. So this is a really cool tool. And I'm definitely going to be using that because, you know, this basically what it does, it uh, saves you a lot of work for needing to, you know, create a live cutter, shift click the mesh, alt X and mirror it, you know. Next cool trick is with a knife and that one is really awesome, okay. And it uh, works only in view mode, it will not work in object mode. So we either need to go shift V and switch to view or you need to start drawing from outside, not sure how to do it. So if you enable dots here, um, and if you enable dots and you hold control over the shape, you will see that you're going to be aligned to object mode, right? But if you're going to start drawing from outside, you can see that automatically you switch to view. And that's what you need to do, okay? So let's uh, switch to um, cut first here. And I'm going to hold control, draw from outside, hover over here. I'm still in view mode, right? And I'm going to start drawing the shape. Then you can release control and you can hold shift and adjust the number of segments. You can see it on the top here. And then I'm going to switch it to knife pressing K and I'm going to press shift T for taper. And when I'm going to move my mouse to the left or right, you can see there's a kind of offset created. But the cool thing about it is that you got these quads, you know, around it, which is awesome. So now when I'm going to click or press space, you will see that I'm going to get this really awesome cut with quads around it created, which is bloody awesome, okay? 
So that's really cool. And you know, you could uh, very quickly uh, create some really cool quad based shape here because we can symmetrize it with mesh machine, you know, to all corners, uh, which will basically remove uh, these two uh, funny edges. And then I can run the parameter bevel here. So go to bevel, press three, and I can run a parameter bevel with hard ups like that. And all I need to do now is basically connect these um, somewhere, right? So what I could do is maybe connect these edges together. So let's just, you know, drop it around here. Symmetrize at the bottom, select these two, press J. And then we can symmetrize it to this side, to this side. And in fact, uh, we could do the same thing here, to be honest. So J here and here. And here we could do a star connect, so because it can be battered. So shift select this one Q and go with star connect, which is, where is it? Uh, here, star connect. Connect it here, connect it here, move to the move to the bottom. There we go. And then if I'm going to go, you know, if I want to, for example, insert this face F, extrude it, and then, you know, insert it drop another loop here, drop one more loop here, and then if I go control three, I got subdivided mesh. You know, it's just really uh, a lot of fun to work with this uh, this way. So very cool tool, uh, amazing for sub D workflows. Um, you know, we're gonna make your life really easy. Another awesome tool is gonna be uh, face extract, which is really cool. So in a solid view, when you press Q and you go to mesh tools, you got this new option here called um, face extract. And when you click that, you can select faces uh, with your mouse that you want to affect, let's say these three or even these four, right? And then uh, when you press space, you can actually decide how deep this cut you want to go, let's say here. And then when you click your mouse, you have another option to create this kind of like an inset thickness, sort of solidification size. And you click and you're done. So it's kind of like inset uh, boolean, but you can actually select specific faces for this to work. So let's uh, show up in this, go to edit mode, mirror to the other side. So here uh, we could just go to mesh tools and face extract. And now you can see that the tools highlight all the faces that are on this mesh. So you can select them, you know, individually like this, for example, which is pretty cool. And then we're going to press space, uh, do something like this, and then click, and boom. So really cool stuff, and uh, you know, um, really fun to play with. Let's sharpen this, move to the other side, and you know, we're good to go. Awesome! This is a really cool tool for hard surface modeling, and it's uh, I think it's just kind of a nice addition to the uh, inset tools for uh, box cutter. Last tool I'm gonna show you is called um, reset axis, which is really cool. Let's say I got this shape here, but I'm gonna cut it, and you know I'm going to apply apply this cutter and move this origin point back to geo. So shift S and to geo, right? Now let's say I wanted to add some cylinder uh, on top of it, and I wanted to boolean it, right? So I'm gonna add a shape. I will need to align it together. It's gonna be a lot of work, but this new tool is fantastic because it allows you to reset the axis of this object according to the axis of this object. So you know, let's make it smaller. So select that, shift select that. You know, go to Q and mesh tools and reset axis, and then you can choose axis on which you wanna reset. So in our case, it's gonna be X, and then you can scroll your mouse to choose the axis, which is really cool, or you can just press the button, you know, so X or uh, or Y, etc., right? And click, and you know, it's dead in the center, so then you can just, you know, do whatever you want with it. You can combine it together, uh, etc., right? So these are the coolest, in my opinion, additions to hard ups and box cutter um, recently, the ones I see myself using all the time. Uh, but if you want to, you know, uh, learn a bit more about these tools in depth, then I really suggest you you watch Master Zeon's videos because, you know, he's covering everything uh, since uh, he's an add-on. He's the uh, add-on creator. In addition to that, if you want to uh, master hard ups and box cutter for hard surface, I highly recommend you guys take a look at our course, the Blender Bros Ultimate Guide to Hard Ups and Box Cutter. 
it's been on the market for a long time and uh, it's by far the most comprehensive course that can teach you how to use both add-ons really efficiently it's going to help you to bring your hard surface modeling to another level all right well thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the vid give us a like and sub if you did and i'll catch you in the next one